I'm going to show you in this video how to make a plaster mold like this out of one of these in which you can create multiple clay cast shapes like this. First thing we need to do is to work out where those two parts of the mold are going to be. On this ball I will hold it in front of me and then I will draw a line all the way around to the point where I could almost not see the tip of the pen and that would mark the visible area that would make up one part of the half of the mould. So I just want to make sure, as much as I can do, that the line, the seam line, or the equator on this ball, is as level as, as it can be. Next thing I'm going to do is just take it a a blunt knife, a butter knife. I'm just going to flatten the surface here and get that nice and smooth all the way around where the seam line needs to be. I need to get this into a square shape because I'm going to block this into a, a square border of my, my boards here, we're going to make a box around it. So I need to make this into a square, so I've got to fill in the corners of this clay. There, so that's more or less a square, at least an inch longer than my knuckle on all four sides. Now we need to block it in. And trust me, you can't overdo this. A number of times I've thought, oh, it, that'll be all right. Never is. Only when you've taken dried plaster out of your shoelaces do you realise that actually this is worth doing and spending a little bit of time just making sure there is nowhere for the plaster to escape. And then we take the weight of the water and we multiply that by what works for me is 1.6. So if we multiply 1.75 by 1.6, we get 2.8. Right, this is the fun bit. So, what's quite clever is having it in a bag, you can mix the pasta up without having to have drills or sticks in buckets. You can do this with your hands. And just keep the bag moving to try and bring the bubbles to the surface. Get some water and just spray a little mist of water just on the surface. So when you're pouring with the, the, the plaster, it doesn't really matter on this because it's just a ball, but if you've got a very delicate surface with lots of detail, I wouldn't pour directly onto that. You'd pour down in an area where there isn't any detail. Don't pour it in too fast because then you're going to get, you're bound to fold in some air pockets. And then I know it wastes a bag, but that's it. This goes in the bin and there's no buckets that I have to clean out. The plaster will harden relatively quickly and you'll feel as it, um, as it thickens, it becomes hard and then it becomes warm. And
and over a large surface area it might actually become quite warm uh, and on a cold day you can see steam coming off the top. Once that heat has gone then that plaster is set and it'll be ready to demold. So I'll undo the clamps and see what we got. Okay, if we take the clay off, we should find that we have more or less half a mould ready made. But that's, that's looking pretty good to me. And to make a key, you can use a drill or a router, or what I'm going to use is a spoon. Okay, next I'm going to use a piece of wet and dry sandpaper. This is 600 grade, so it's very fine. We don't need to put anything on this because, uh, as I said earlier, this is non-porous. So this won't and it hasn't stuck to plaster. But this area I'm going to need to apply some mould soap. I apply one coat, let that absorb and then come back and I'll apply another one. Just made that a little bit concave just so it fits on top of on top of that if I get a little bit of plaster going underneath it it doesn't matter because that's easy for me to then clean up time for a second coat just make sure all that mold separator is dry so the clamps are on they're nice and tight uh, what I need to do before I pour, obviously, is make a few little snakes of clay to plug any gaps that the plaster might find. I'm just going to spray a bit of water onto that to the clay in that poor hole thing that I made and not too much but that should just allow it just to stay put and stick a bit to the top of the ball so this is mixed and it's just starting to thicken what I might do is just a little spritz in there just to make sure the plaster has something to chase. That's been about half an hour, um, 20 minutes, half an hour, and it's, it is nice and warm, and so it's rock solid. So let's twist this, see if we can get this out. That's our pour hole. Right, let's let's see if it comes apart. And there we go. So we've got a bit of a lip on that pour hole. So I'll just go round that with a knife. I think I'm happy with that. I, I just need to leave that to dry and then we can cast it and see if it works.